it's really nice to hear um, to have people like bring you their records that they just made themselves, you know, and bring them in and have them the records be really good and and to be able to turn people onto them. I mean, that's why I do the whole record store thing anyway, you know. I'm John Darneal, lead singer from the Mountain Goats, and National Book Award nominated author of the best-selling Wolf in White Pan. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> why is Aquarius still around? Because they didn't ever lose sight of why do you start working at a record store? Because you really like records, you like connecting people with records they like, right? That has to remain your mission. You know what their end game is. They want to sell a record. They're only going to make a few bucks from that record, so we're not talking like they're going to become millionaires, you know, from doing that. And none of us that are involved in this music world are going to be that, but they're there for the love of it. And and it's like you're just doing it because you love the idea of turning somebody on to it, not because they're like going, man, we can sell a shitload of this. And here's why I love Aquarius Records and record stores in general. I love the artifact. The artifact, it's not enough to have it on your computer and bring up a low quality sound file. It's not enough. But they figured out that you want to create an experience around it and a community around it. So it's not just that you can get the artifact here, but that you're dealing with people who are not making you feel like an asshole, which is what happened to Tower Records. You know, no matter what record you were buying, you were an asshole. <laughs> and so there's a human interaction, which is, so you get to talk to the curators and say, what, what's interesting right now? And they'll say, here, have this. Every package I demand that they send me some mystery items that uh, are unknown to me, you know, that I think that I would like. They know me that well that I'm, I'm into mushrooming. So they sent me a, a soundtrack to, to a movie about mushrooms. I haven't watched a movie yet, but I'm, I would like to, uh, to do that. This is the dungeon. Here's my record collection. I would say 35,000 probably. Uh, I don't know the numbers, but I've been buying records from Aquarius since 2005, I think. What do you think of his musical tastes? Um, some things are really uh, horrible. <laughs> 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 and other things takes a little bit time to get used to, and other things are... Uh, Oh, nice. I mean, personally for me, it's like KUSF and Aquarius Records and John Dwyer. Those are the three things that um, really are the reasons that I got to put out records, you know? were the first people to review any music of mine and they were so nice about it that uh, yeah it made a big effect on me. much as the internet offers you like these unforeseen powers of sort of scanning and sifting, 
Like, nothing really beats the arbitrariness of walking in a door and just be like finding things that you can never plan to find. You know, before there was an internet and you can actually find out about weird music and find the other people in weird music, the only place you found out about them were like rock clubs and in places like Aquarius. It's like being with a group of friends and I really appreciate that. And I think that's what sets, that's what sets Aquarius records apart from the um, listening and discovering music through Spotify, Facebook, and all the other crazy ways you do it these days. It came. It came from Aquarius Records. Okay. It came from Aquarius Records. 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 Yo, it came from Aquarius Records. Valencia Street. It came from Aquarius Records. 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 Please don't use all of them, okay? <laughs> don't make me look like a jerk. <laughs> Yeah, like literally, the store changed my life, man. It's my favorite record store. I fucking hate that it's gone. Man.